Good. He began to teach again. Wow, by the sea. This is beautiful. I love this. Uh, uh, the fourth chapter. Mm -hmm. And uh, such exciting stuff here. This oh, is, uh, it's, it's very it's exciting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, against once saved, always saved. Oh, yeah. That's a oh, good yeah. point, too. Mm -hmm. uh, misguided idea. Misguided yeah. doctrine. It doesn't match Jesus. No, no. Course. And 13, do you not understand this parable? How will you understand all the parables? This yeah. is the parable about parables. <laughs> yeah. You don't get this one. Everything works yes. its way from yes. this one. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's right. That yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Okay, yeah. verse mm -hmm. one. All right. Again, yeah. yes. he began to teach beside the sea. Mm -hmm. and a very huge, large crowd mm -hmm. gathered about him so that he got into a boat mm -hmm. and sat in it on the sea, and the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land. Now, isn't that... Nice wow. picture. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And he was teaching them mm -hmm. many things in parables, mm -hmm. and in his teaching he said to them, Listen, mm -hmm. a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured it. Other seed fell on rocky ground where it did not have much soil, and immediately it sprang up, since it had no depth of soil, and when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no root, it withered away. Wow. Verse 7. Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain. Mm -hmm. And other seeds fell into good soil and produced grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirtyfold and sixtyfold mm -hmm. and a hundredfold. Mm -hmm. And he said, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Wow. Amazing. Even that statement is a little, isn't that clever, he who has ears to hear? Yes. It's sort of a play on words. It's isn't very it? clever. It, and it's yeah. also the Shema, listen Israel. Oh, yeah. Listen no, the way you could right. say, yeah. the new, don't miss this. Yeah, yeah. Because we're talking about immortality like here. That. that could be interesting, yeah. folks out there. <laughs> you want to live forever. We would think so. Ever. That's right. <sighs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 10, and when he was alone, mm -hmm. those around him with the twelve asked him about the parables. And he said to them, to you has been given the secret of the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. but for those outside, everything is in parables, so that they may indeed see, but not perceive, and may indeed hear, but not understand, lest they should turn and be forgiven. Mm -hmm. A quote from Isaiah, I think, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes, Absolutely. That's right, yeah. Mm. And he said to them, Do you not understand this parable? How then will you understand all the parables? <laughs> yeah. Verse 14, The sower sows the word, mm. and these are the ones along the path where the word is sown. When they hear, Satan immediately comes and makes a, takes away the word that is sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground, the ones who, when they hear the word, immediately receive it with joy. So he's working his way back through the different types yes. of ground that... Uh, Absolutely. Uh, that, types of soil. By the way, the interesting thought, it's the same seed, isn't it? Oh, Just totally. falling on different ground. It's, oh, it's the yeah. same seed. It's the word of the kingdom in, in the parallel, Matthew right. thirteen nineteen. Right. So the, it's simply the word here. We've been through right. already, you know, we said when he preaches the word, yeah. he's preaching the word of the kingdom. It is the so same everything word. Everything depends right. on the word. Of the that's kingdom. right, that's right. Yeah. That, uh, that's easy. So, uh, verse 16, and these are the ones sown on mm. rocky ground, the ones who, when they hear the word, mm. immediately receive it with joy. Mm -hmm. And they have no root in themselves, but endure for a while. Then, when tribulation or tri persecution arises yes. on account of the word, mm -hmm. Wow. Immediately they fall away. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. And others are the ones sown among thorns. They are those who hear the word, but the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches and the desires for other things enter in and choke the word, mm -hmm. and it proves unfruitful. Wow. Mm -hmm. Verse 20. But those who were sown on the good soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit 30-fold and 60-fold and 100-fold. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't this tremendous? 
This yeah. is just solid Jesus, isn't it? It's just oh, yeah. solid Jesus yeah. teaching. Pure, undiluted Jesus. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Now, this is Christianity here. Yeah. About which we heard nothing in my CV days. Mm -hmm. Didn't know what it was. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, this is, he's really laying it all out here, isn't he? Uh, yes. And it's it's interesting then that uh, these uh, these different crown, kinds of grounds then represent different kinds of people, yes. different folks. Yes. And the word is going to fall uh, mm. upon these different mm. kinds of grounds. Mm. Yes. Uh, by the way, I get, I do, uh, contrary to, uh, I guess, Calvinistic thinking, I think you get to decide what kind of ground you're going to be. Absolutely. You get to decide whether you're going to be Absolutely. good ground or not. And that's the point of this yes. as well. I oh, yes. You, you, know, you get to yes. choose. Will um, I be yeah. good ground? Will no, I be absolutely. bad ground? Well, it's I'll such an easy... Yeah, yeah. I love it. These are fishermen and farmers. Yeah. And this is perfectly accessible yes. to anybody, isn't it? Yes, we yes. all understand what a seed is. We are all seeds ourselves. Yes, yes. And yeah. different types of personality. But we're making the choice. The, uh, I yeah. like the... Uh, and uh, I forget, I think maybe it's in Luke's account of mm. this, but he talks about uh, the, they... Believe for a while. These are those yes. who receive the word and believe for a while. Absolutely. But then, but then uh, yes. they they don't. So this is an interesting yes. thing again, as you were mentioning about yes. the unfortunate idea that once saved, always saved. That's uh, not what no, Jesus is, not is saying. Here. You could believe for a while yep. and then still not bear fruit and not uh, not. Uh, that's right. Be, yeah. No, it's, it's, I mean, that's absolutely against the idea of once saved, always mm -hmm. saved. He didn't say they pretend to believe for a while. He <laughs> said they believe that's right. temporarily yes. for a while, then they fall away. Right. That makes the yeah. whole salvation project far more challenging, yeah. doesn't it? By all means. But, but yeah, it wouldn't matter if you that's robbed right. a bank every day the rest of your mm -hmm. life, you'd still mm -hmm. go to heaven. Mm -hmm. The go to heaven thing is wrong mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. But they haven't got the gospel clearly there. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Serious business. Yes, it is. It's Luke, uh, the equivalent chapter is Luke 8, Luke verse yes, 13, right. no. which says, They have no firm root. They believe for a while, and in time of testing, fall away. I, I, like, I like this thought, too. Uh, mm. You're mentioning how that these parables... And the teachings of Jesus mm. are so direct and easy yes. and intended to be understood by Absolutely. the people of his day. He's yes. not speaking to advanced theologians no. and, and uh, you know, yes. uh, advanced students of some uh, theological yes. college. But instead, he's speaking to ordinary folks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think that's tremendous. And Eleven is picturing interesting. He was saying to them, he repeated this parable many, many times. This was his standard presentation. Right, right. He was saying to them, used to say to them, 11, to you have been given the mystery. Now that doesn't mean mystification. Yes, yes. It's God's plan now revealed. Right, right. You know, a revelation mm -hmm. of the kingdom of God. But those who are outside get everything in parallel with me enigmas. That is different, difficult for them. They yeah. don't get it. So that, this is striking to me, while seeing they don't really see while hearing they don't really hear, then this phrase is staggeringly interesting to me. If they did, otherwise, you see, mm. if they did understand yes, the gospel yes. kingdom, then they could repent, return is repent here, mm, mm, and mm. be forgiven. Wow. The other side of that coin is if you don't understand the kingdom, you can't repent yeah. and be forgiven. Wow. Yes, yes. Awful? I mean, it's wow. very threatening. That's right. Why not, though? I mean, if God wants to give the kingdom as the objective of human existence, to rule and live forever, then you'd expect belief in the program would be an essential to being in the program, wouldn't it? Yes, yes. How can you be in the yeah, program? Absolutely. You know what the program is. Right. It, yeah. Exactly. Wow. It's amazing stuff. Well, and these folks then, uh, they, uh, who do not have hearts to perceive, and they, do, yes. and they don't want to be good ground, as it's it were, their fault. all the rest of it. It's their fault. Yeah, though. they've made a choice, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. they're not going to perceive, and they're not going to get it, because, for goodness sakes, then they might turn and actually believe. They don't yes. want them. They don't want to do that. And the devil doesn't want no, them to do well, it. So he's exactly right there to snatch right. away, because right. he knows that if, if that 
kingdom message gets through to a human being, he's on the way to everlasting life, you know, uh, living forever. Yes, yes. And the devil is very much against that from the moment he saw Adam. His, his whole key is to thwart God's to program. Thwart, absolutely, then, to yes. ruin the program. Yeah. Well, I think that's staggeringly interesting material. Yeah. Well, this is good. Shouldn't mm. every Christian, oh, yeah. uh, not just someone who's a, a minister, a teacher, a pastor, absolutely. but every Christian, every Sunday mm. school teacher and every Sunday school student, absolutely. so to speak, there's Shouldn't they no. understand this parable of the sower and the seed? That's how yes. crucial, how essential this is. Well, it's is. exactly Mark 1, 14 and 15. You know, ah, the first yes, chapter. Yes, yes. He begins with this, yes. repent and believe the kingdom. Yes. This is exactly I what's being it. developed and expounded in the parable. Tremendous, yeah. Wow. Good teacher. Okay. Good teacher. Systematic teaching on the part yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. Wow. Um, 13, is it? Parents. Mm. Teach your children this parable. Oh, <laughs> I say to students, you yeah. want to preach this six times every Sunday. Yeah, that's right. Jokingly, you know. Yeah. But that no, if until the whole world knows it, yes. which they don't. That's exactly. You can simply ask your yeah. friends, "What's the gospel?" Very unlikely they'll say, "Gospel of the kingdom." They <laughs> yes. don't know that. Yeah. Well, our responsibility is to teach it. Then, Absolutely. Right, until they My all land, yes. Why Everyone not? should know this. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. This also helps us to realize that Jesus was mm -hmm. recognized. He was he's sowing that seed. Oh, absolutely. His disciples will be sowing it after him. I would think and, so. Yeah. But isn't it interesting that he's letting them know and by extension mm -hmm. he's letting us know mm -hmm. not every one who the seed falls upon is going to believe or to receive it That's or right. to bear fruit. That's right. There may be some who will believe for a while, yes. but then they'll fall away as uh, per Luke eight. Absolutely. So, and we need to be aware of all that so that we're yeah. not surprised when no, there are those who do not and love no. that message. Or and don't we've seen it. this in our experience. We can oh, name yes. people between us who oh, are yeah, quite sure. clear. And then some difficult thing happened in no. life, financial trouble, whatever. Yeah. And they fall away. Exactly. And yeah. we could renew them. We could go after them. Sure. But there's no guarantee that they're going to turn sure. back. Yeah. That's very, very serious. Right. Well, this is a wonderful teaching. It every is. Christian should, uh, and every minister, pastor, teacher, oh. Sunday school teacher should make sure right. those that they are communicating to, yes. that this gets communicated oh, with it, it, to yes. them. So this is the John 3.16 of Mark. <laughs> there everybody you knows John 3.16, right. which is really the same idea, but in less clear terms, yes, yes. if you don't know this. Right. So don't go to John. Don't even attempt to do John until you've got Matthew, Mark, and Luke straight. That, that's right. Otherwise, you're going to get the, the basics in place and try. Then try, yeah. yeah. 13, you're coming to 13, which is staggeringly interesting too. And he said to them, do you not understand this parable? How then will you understand all the parables? The sower sows the word. And these are the ones along the path where the word is sown. When they hear, Satan immediately comes and takes away the word mm. that is sown in them. Mm -hmm. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground the ones who, when they hear the word, immediately receive it with joy. So they're receiving the word. Yes. Uh, yes. And they have no root in themselves, but endure for a while. Mm. Then, when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the oh. word, mm -hmm. immediately they fall away. Wow. Wow, that is mm. amazing, isn't it? Yes. Verse 18. Mm -hmm. And others are the ones sown among thorns. They are those who hear the word, but the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches and the desires for other things enter in and choke the word, mm. and it proves unfruitful. Yes. Verse 20. But those who that are were sown on the good soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit thirtyfold and sixtyfold and a hundredfold. Mm -hmm. Wow. So... Mm. Good soil, good land, good ground uh, will bear actually perhaps yeah. different levels of fruit. Yes. And, uh, and still that's very uh, wonderful. Yes. It's still exactly John what God John speaks desires. about getting a, uh, make sure you get a full reward. Ah. So some do better than others. Yes, yes. The other interesting thing, commentators point this out, the seed actually becomes the person 
he speaks of the seed being sown. Oh, then yes. he talks about the converts being that seed. Yes, the idea yes. would be that you have to propagate the seed. Yes, yes. Having received yes. the seed, you are then responsible for propagation of right, the seed. Right, right. It's very subtle. I mean, there's a lot to this. Actually. Yes, yes. But it's just brilliant. Tremendous material. stuff. Yes. Tremendous. Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, I think they say rightly in all the commentaries, if you bear fruit 30, 60 or 100, that's a ludicrous, way beyond anything that happens in the natural world. A ludicrous increase, right? Huge abundance of increase. Yeah. I like that one. More coming in verse 21. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 21, mm -hmm. and he said to them, is a lamp brought in mm -hmm. to be put under a basket mm -hmm. or under a bed mm -hmm. and not on a stand? Mm -hmm. For nothing is hidden except to be made manifest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nor is anything secret except to come to light. Yes. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Verse 24. And he said to them, pay attention to what you hear. Mm -hmm. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you, and still more will be added to you. Mm -hmm. For to the one who has, more will be given, and from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Whoa. It's tough, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So you cannot stand still. Mm. If mm. you don't move forward, increase, you're going backwards. N standing still will get you nowhere, right? Yes. The yes. more you are given, the more you're responsible to give out. Right. And who puts a, you know, who puts a candle under, under the table? Isn't it there to light? Mm -hmm. It's very homely, homey stuff, if whatever right, it is, right? right. Very much down to earth, yes, domestic yes, thing. Yes. Everybody can understand this, mm, mm. but it's also very threatening because the responsibility for evangelism, mm. which many church members really don't do much of, I don't think they think they need to. Right. They do have they, to. Do. They think that's not a responsibility that's for right, them, but it, but it is. is. Yeah. It actually yeah. is, yeah. In some way, in some sense, in, in it's whatever a responsibility capacity, of right. every Christian. Yeah. In different ways, because people are in different shoes, born sure. in different circumstances. I get that. But how could you not talk about immortality to the mm -hmm. bank clerk that you transact your oh, check you with? That's right. At yeah. every point. That's right. Or well, you can say how interesting it is that the Bible never teaches that you go to heaven. Why would you want to go to heaven? Because Jesus is coming back. <laughs> so why do you want to go where he won't be? Yes. Something that gets the, ch the what is People it? Thinking the wheels. That. Yeah, yeah, that's the right. <laughs> thinking. That's right. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. <laughs> so, so wow, he's yeah. com he's comparing them here yes. to uh, lamps, is he not? Absolutely, yeah, they're lamps, and they're yeah. also seeds and supposed yeah. to propagate. Yeah. The he the Greek word here is spora mm -hmm. or sperma, I think. Mm -hmm. In Peter, he refers to the same seed. That's another connection that's not yes. made. Yeah. First Peter one, he reflects and comments on the parable of the sower. Yes, yes. Peter uses the word spora. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that. Spore, I would. Right. Here the word is sperma. The meaning is the same thing. Yeah. Because yeah. You're, you're producing a new child here. God is, right? Yes, Well, yes. you need a sperma to do that. <laughs> Into right. the ear, not over the top of the head, yes. not in one ear and out the other, right. as we say. Mm -hmm. Verse 26. Mm -hmm. And he said, The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground. He sleeps and rises night and day, mm. and the seed sprouts and grows. Mm. He knows not how. It's just wonderful, isn't it? It, it, happens. One. it happens, but yeah. mysteriously. The, yeah, mysterious. the earth produces by itself, first the blade, mm. then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. Mm. But when the grain is ripe, at once he puts in the sickle mm -hmm. because the harvest has come. Ah. Ah. The harvest is the end of the age in Matthew 13. Yes. The harvest is the end of this yes. current age, the beginning of the yeah. kingdom coming. Yeah. It's very, very wonderful it's material. Uh, so the harvest comes at a given time, yes. at a point in time. Yes. It's not for each planet some different no, separate time, no. but it's the harvest comes at a time yes. for the entire The end planet. of the age yes, is yes. divine right. uh, in Matthew 13. Yeah. All of these uh, parables, he's, he's speaking one after the other yeah. here, and it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. But... Uh, they just all build on one another, and when yes. you begin to look at them, one 
draws from the other as, right. he, as he moves along. Different it's, pictures, yeah. are they not? A wedding feast. Yeah, but all about the same set of issues. Right, different ways of explaining the same yeah. theological point. Yeah. I don't yeah. like that word, theological, you know, yeah. salvation yeah. point. Yes, yeah. yeah, there you go. Uh, you think so. I mean, if you're the bearer of the unique message mm -hmm. of how to live forever, right. you'd, you'd be thinking, how do we get this over to the public? Well, he thought through this beautifully. They're all Old Testament images, by the way. You have mm -hmm. often in the prophets uh, God planting Israel. Oh, yes, yes. So the idea of planting people is right there in the Old Testament. Right. Jesus reflected on that right. and then comes up with a super uh, version of it. Yeah. And the devil knows this. The <laughs> devil knows better than we do sometimes. Yeah. And he stops that seed as far as he can. Yeah. He's, he's in the middle of these issues, isn't he? Are they, totally. Uh, yeah. Very active. Wow. Yes. Okay, yeah. That's the mustard seed then. Verse yes. 30, mm. and he said, mm. with what can we compare mm -hmm. the kingdom of God? Mm -hmm. Or what parable shall we use for it? Mm -hmm. It is like a grain of mustard seed, which, when sown yes. on the ground, yes. is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Mm. Yet, when it is sown, it grows up and becomes larger than all yes. the garden plants yes. and puts out large branches so that the birds of the air... Yes. can make nests in its shade. Isn't that nice? That's an image from Daniel. Remember that same picture is in Daniel. Oh, it is, isn't it? it? Is. Yes, that's right. I hadn't thought yes. about that. It's that's exactly right. drawn from Daniel, which is kingdom stuff. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And the birds in you know, resting and, and uh, finding shelter in the branch under the branches is the worldwide eventual yeah. outcome of this worldwide kingdom. Yeah. Beautiful. That... Um, mm -hmm. There is a, a beautiful certainty to many of these issues as Jesus was oh, saying. Yes. One thing we know that no matter what anyone does and what about no matter what anyone says, mm -hmm. uh, these things will be. There is coming a, a harvest. There is coming yes. a time. This will happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes. uh, so we should be, I think, genuinely interested mm -hmm. in the understanding these things. Oh, absolutely. Know. This is the meaning of life. Those texts are Daniel 4.12, I'll mention them for the sake of the oh, camera. Daniel yes. 4.12 and Ezekiel 7.13, no, 23, Ezekiel 7.23, same yeah. thing. Great. It's a huge worldwide kingdom. Yeah, yeah. Eventuates from this process that's mm -hmm. beginning now. Yeah. I hate the word consummated. You hear, you heard the kingdom is going to be consummated. It's, well, yes, but what does that really mean? Yeah. The kingdom is going to appear visibly and irresistibly yeah, when Christ yes, comes yeah, back. yeah. That's the whole meaning of history. But you don't get this in history, high school history classes. Yeah. Why not? This is real world yeah. history. Oh, my gracious, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, what yeah. else here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 33. Mm. With many such parables, he mm. spoke the word to them mm -hmm. as they were able to hear it. Mm -hmm. He did not speak to them without a parable, mm -hmm. but privately to his own disciples, he explained everything. So... Again, he's just beginning to, to bring these things mm -hmm. to bear mm -hmm. among people, and mm -hmm. he's, he's working with those in his inner circle, yep. those who are his close yes. disciples. Yes. And he realizes that many times, as he speaks parables, there's going to be others present. They're not going to get it. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe it's not time mm -hmm. yet mm -hmm. that the public at large is going to get it. And uh, uh, But he's going ahead and... and expressing it to his yes. disciples in ways that yes. they will later be able to express Absolute it to the others in, in greater detail. Yeah, it's yeah. interesting that, uh, again, against Calvinism, at the end of Acts, when Paul is preaching first to Jews, later to Gentiles, and when they leave in some state of dispute, some of them agree with Paul, others mm. don't get it, mm. he doesn't say, well, God is not calling you, so that's okay, you're mm. off the hook. Mm. He says, one word before you leave, I've told you. <laughs> now you're guilty. That's the text in John 15. Yeah, well, if I hadn't come and told you, Jesus said, you wouldn't be guilty. Yes. But now that I've told you, so anybody who's exposed to this message, watch out because to whom much is given, yes, much yes. is expected. Yeah. You don't get off the hook. Say, well, I'm not called now. So this <laughs> Oh, no, no. You can't. That's Calvinism. Yeah. That's Calvinism. Well, that would be uh, right. taking the lamp and uh, putting it under the basket Absolutely. or under a bed, wouldn't it? I don't think yes. that. Uh, but it's intended to give light to all. Absolutely. Yeah. Intended yeah. to be shared. Yeah. Is that American expression, right? Shared with others, isn't it? The light is, is so there's, sharing. Don't you think, Anthony, then mm. there's a lot in all of this mm. about God's timing? Yes. Because Jesus is coming on the scene. Mm. 
he is doing wonderful things, mm-hmm. but he wants to contain the 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 his ministry and his efforts for the moment mm-hmm. because as time progresses, yeah. it's going to there's going to be a time as this will unfold mm-hmm. and it will continue to yes. develop. And here he's he's sharing with his close in, disciples in group, things yes. that perhaps yes. others won't won't That's get. Right. He knows that. He does say, take care how you hear, because the more you hear, the more you're responsible for. Oh, yes, so be yes, careful. Yeah. You know, don't realize yeah. that once you've got this information, you, you're duty bound yeah. to share it with other people. Uh, hearing and, and grasping things is both a privilege and a, a greater responsibility, responsibility at the same time. And I hadn't thought of that until we discussed it. No, that's exactly John 15. If you, if I hadn't told you, you wouldn't be guilty. Ah, yeah. But now you're responsible because I've just told you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good way to go. So, isn't it? But it, we, but then the person shouldn't feel like, well, I don't understand no. more. Then I'll be more. No, it's a great privilege, and, and the privilege is greater. Yeah. It's better to have the privilege coming right. to us uh, than uh, yes, that's and, exactly and, right. uh, than to try to spare any responsibility. That's right. Some people even say, "Well, I'm not going to preach anything because I'm making them guilty, <laughs> so I better keep quiet." That doesn't uh, work. That that doesn't work. You do it anyway. The privilege is great. <laughs> it's greater. That's right. That's right. That's right. The that's honor is greater. <laughs> yes, the honor is greater. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm. Uh, Jesus coming the storm. I think we can get to that. Verse thirty-five. Mm -hmm. On that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. Mm. Uh, All of this is taking place up in Galilee, isn't it? Yes. And obviously the the, lake of Galilee. Yeah, is sort of central to what's going on here. Yes, close to Capernaum, I think, where he is. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Nazareth, originally. Yeah. They moved to Capernaum. Yeah. Yeah, all a tiny little section of geography, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of of neat. This is the lake of Galilee. Yeah. So uh, again, he said uh, in verse 36, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and leaving the crowd, they took him with them in the boat, Mm. just as he was. And other boats were with him. Mm -hmm. And a great, uh, 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 well, when you think about it, they were in the boat. He was speaking from the boat to the shore, the people on the shore. And he's saying, let's don't go on to shore. Let's just cast off and let's go across. That's uh, right. Yeah, get... Kind of again, away from the crowd. Yeah, getting away from the crowd so, a bit. Yeah. So yes, and what happened then on the lake is exciting. Yeah, oh my goodness, here. yes. And a great windstorm mm. arose, mm. and the waves were breaking mm. into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Verse thirty-eight. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion, and they woke him and said to him. Teacher, do you not care that we're perishing? <laughs> very yeah. real. Maybe yeah. you know one thing that may play into it. He might have been very tired. Look I've at all he's that. been he's going through. He's just been through. teaching. Yeah, and teaching is very exhausting. Absolutely. He's maybe spent a whole morning right. sitting that boat, teaching, yeah. maybe answering right. questions, interactive. Right. He's worn out. And, and he's been dealing with the crowds yes. and all of these things and people yes. coming to him and all. It's exhausting. Yeah. Worn out. Yeah. He's sleeping. And I love that yeah. question. You know, here we are. You're students. You don't care. You're just sleeping. <laughs> Are That's you right. not alarmed at the fact we're about to drown because the waves were beating yes, um, and coming over the edge of the yeah, boat? Yeah. And so what does he do? No problem. He solves that one. And he woke yes. and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, yes. Peace, be still. Yep. Wow, I like that. Yes, rebuked the wind and yeah. said to the sea. And the wind ceased. Yes. And then, he was, and then there was a great calm. He said to them, mm-hmm. Why are you so afraid? Mm-hmm. Have you still no faith? Mm-hmm. Aren't you getting it? Come yes. on, God's with us. Yes, it, it, exactly. Okay. He has to preach to them on that yeah. point. And they were filled with great fear and mm. said to one another, mm. who, who then is yes. this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Isn't that right. tremendous? Isn't that I love it. I love that. Yeah. This is really someone. This guy is yeah. amazing. It's he, wonderful. Just like he told the demons to be muzzled. Yes. He speaks to the sea as though it's a person. Yes. A yes. sonified sea. That's right. And tells them to, tells them to become. Mm-hmm. The other point is that in the parable in Matthew of the talents, the man who did nothing with his talent doesn't get saved. And never oh, gets preached that good way. Good point. Yeah, good point. You yeah. just don't get saved. You, you must do something with the gift that God yeah. has given you. Otherwise, you've, you've failed entirely. Which reminds me again about the John 15, mm-hmm. that branch that bore no fruit. That's right. He just takes it away. That's right. You know. 
That's right. Wow. After pruning it, it gives yeah. it a chance. Yeah, it gives it a chance. And if it still doesn't bear fruit, then, right. that's curtains. Yeah. This is a lot more mm. challenging oh, it is. than the popular yeah. version, which is so watered down. Oh, my goodness, yes. Uh, again, uh, I love this account of Jesus speaking to the to the wind and to the waves yes. and the ceasing. But yeah. uh, again, this is uh, something that we might expect from him mm-hmm. as the primary Shalia, the primary agent, agent for God. For God. Of course. And uh, yes. to to be able to do these remarkable things was oh, wonderful. Absolutely. It doesn't mean he is God, but it does mean no, God no, has no. vested in him Second the, these amazing things right. that he can do. You look and think about it, uh, uh, Moses did mm. amazing things. Mm-hmm. Yes. The parting of the sea and the That's sea right. coming back together. These are mm-hmm. great natural mm-hmm. control, mm-hmm. miracles, mm-hmm. things. But we say, oh, well, it was God working through Moses. Yeah. Well, we know, too, that it was God working through Jesus. Absolutely. Uh, and it's that simple. Jesus says, I can do nothing of my own myself. initiative, my yeah. own self. Uh, John 5, 30. What I see the Father doing. Then, then I himself. do. Yeah, that's and right. I I can, yeah, and that's the destiny of Adam. He's doing what Adam was intended to do, right. isn't he? The supreme model of what a human being is supposed to yeah, be doing yeah. in relation to God. That's beautiful. If he is God, it makes no yeah. sense at all. It's makes no sense. It's a big deal. No. If no. he's simply God himself, right. he can do all that anyway, so that's not remarkable. Yeah. It's it's time, I think, Anthony, that mm. Christianity let Jesus be who he oh, really okay. is, who he said he was, yes. not God, but the Son of God. That's right. And That's right. that exactly. his wonderful work, mm. the things that he did, including this amazing uh, mm. miracle here, mm-hmm. They were, th- they were done by the power of God working in him. Yes, you right. know, and that's that's the picture. Again, yes. you mentioned Acts two twenty. Uh, yes, and and a man this whole business by God. Uh, yeah, he's a man attested by God by miracles and wonders yes. and signs. That's right, which God, which God did, did through, through him. him. That wonderful stuff. That's easy, of course. Mark Why can't we in Christianity celebrate that? Well, we're in the bondage of tradition, yeah, mindless groupthink yeah. on a huge scale. You might say organized dishonesty, <laughs> yes. because we go to church yeah. and mutter these creeds without knowing even what we're yeah. saying, like begotten, not made. Yeah. That's no idea by rote, yeah, isn't right. it? That yeah. complaint in Isaiah, yeah. trouble with you people, he says. All you know is learned by rote, right. without reflection on what we're saying. Right. Here in the Shema, in Mark 12, of course, we'll get oh, to it. Yes, 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 of course. He shows himself to be a typical Jewish yeah. unitary monotheist. Right. Well, you know, uh, Anthony, to actually turn, theologically mm. turn, Jesus mm. into God mm. doesn't help Christianity or oh, Christians no. or anybody else. No. It robs us yes. of the power, the glory, yes, and, right. the, and the wonderful work of God in Jesus as his primary agent of all time. Exactly. You know, so, wow. Yeah, to say nothing of the offense to Muslims unnecessarily. Oh, yeah. And Jews, and Jews who should right. not That's right. come near Trinitarianism. That's right. yeah. Muslims have been taught conscientiously not to believe in a triune God. Exactly. To so think of the potential, if you go and say, yes, we believe in the one God, mm-hmm. now we have to persuade you that Jesus is that Messiah. Yeah. The man Messiah Jesus. There you go. And that's what the whole issue was in the New Testament. Of course. They were they you mm. read the book of Acts and you read all of those things that followed as they went throughout the world. Mm. They were not battling over the question, no. is Jesus God or not? They were no. battling over is he the Messiah? Of course. Is he the Christ of yes. God? Not is he God? You know. It's so, amazing wow. because so many scholars recognize that Jesus himself never claimed to be God. Yeah. So we're asking people to believe in church, things that Jesus did not claim of yeah. himself. It makes no sense. Much of this is known to the scholarly world, but again, the public is not reading the yeah. books. Yeah. The preachers are often preaching to keep a congregation going. Yes, yes. It's yes. their livelihood. I'm sure. So it's a very disappointing yeah. system yeah. where it should not be. You don't want to rock the boat, as it were. No, or coming lose off your of salary. Our, of our story here, <laughs> don't lose your salary either. Do you? Yeah, that's right, and that, that puts people in difficult. It place. does, yeah, yes. But we must have a higher calling, a higher yeah. allegiance oh, to absolutely. truth oh, than, we, than we do to uh, to anything else. Yes, I think. to yes. be true, to be true. Okay, to yes, absolutely. Yeah.